Hi everybody, it's Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes and today I'm gonna to show you how to make marshmallow cobwebs. But first, I need to put my spider Gwen on a dowel rod and put her in my cake. So I need these white chocolate chips melted to do that. Here's my spider Gwen and I have used a hot glue gun to stick her hand to a dowel rod. So yeah, this was uh, a broken toy anyway, and I washed it up and got a dowel rod and hot glued her together. So first I'm gonna put that hole right into my cake. Then I'm gonna pull it back out and I'm gonna fill that hole with melted white chocolate or regular chocolate. But I'm just gonna use some mini chocolate chips, melt it down, put it in a baggie and fill that hole. And that'll keep uh, it a little more stable. <laughs> it did make me nervous having this stick in the cake with a heavier uh, figure on top. So I just like the way to make it more stable, I'll pipe some melted chocolate in there and that'll harden because my cake is also cooled in the fridge overnight. So this buttercream has been chilled and so that should harden up really quick. So I'm just gonna press that right into my cake and then I'm gonna push down hard because I sharpened the end of my dowel rod so that it will pierce my cake drum and keep it even more steady. So I'm just pushing down like that. There, you saw that little thud that went right into my cake drum. So that's gonna hold that steady. I'm gonna put a little more white chocolate just around the base of this to help stabilize it. And then I'm gonna get a bowl of mini marshmallows and I'm gonna get you started on the cobweb. So here comes the fun part. I'm gonna put these in the microwave for about 30 seconds, mix it around another 30 seconds. Now they're all kind of jiggly like this and poofed out. Yeah, that's as far as I'm gonna go with it because I don't want them to get over toasted or any <laughs> or toasted at all. I just want them gooey. And uh, so I'm going to use this. Oh, there's Lena getting it on my camera <laughs> shot there. You know, I like to have the kids around when I'm doing this, but only if they sit back, right? Otherwise it makes me nervous. <laughs> so I'm just going to wrap this marshmallow around that dowel rod. I'm just going to take some more and stick it to it and spin as I go and just bring it on down. So I'm spinning it round and round and let that marshmallow just wrap. And by now my marshmallow is starting to get uh, just enough cooled so that I can be able to put it on the cakes. I don't want hot marshmallow <laughs> on my cake. And otherwise my buttercream is gonna melt even though I've chilled my cake. So I'm just letting it cool a little, mixing it around with my hands while I do that. And now to get my other glove on. I did not plan this well. <laughs> I should have just put both gloves on to begin with. Uh, <laughs> Watch me struggle, yeah. Here we go. Once I get both gloves on, <laughs> then I will go ahead and uh, get both of, yeah, there we go, nice and sticky. Get both of my hands in that melted marshmallow, which is now cooling, so it's not super hot when I put it on my cake. So my buttercream is not gonna be melting here. So once I get a nice, big blob full, I'm gonna just smoosh my hands together and pull them apart to make webs. And I'm gonna want some of them to kind of dangle from the main web as well to kind of create the look like some of her webbing is coming out. I'm just gonna have fun with this. <laughs> this is a lot of fun to play with, especially since I want gloves. It's a lot easier to clean up if you have gloves on. If you don't have gloves on, I don't know what you're gonna do. But yeah, I recommend the gloves. <laughs> And you know what? My turntable keeps spinning and that was driving me crazy. So I'm gonna go put a stop on my turntable there. Now it'll stay in place. <laughs> There's a little stopper on this turntable that I have. You just click it and it locks it in place. And so that makes it much easier for something like this. And there, and then we keep just stretching it across and just pull it until it sticks in place. And just pull it out. I do it all different directions, over the top, over the sides, and around. <laughs> I'm being very careful not to pull my buttercream when I do this. 
And then I want some more strands of webbing coming from that main web there and then just going down on my cake. That makes a really cool look. And then I'll get a little extra webby down here towards the bottom. I needed some more, so I'm going to pull that through there. And then I think one final web we'll do for here, right across this top and let it kind of grip on the side there. Boy, this was a fun cake to make though. <laughs> had a lot of fun with my marshmallows today and thank you so much for joining me and please subscribe to my channel.